Hello everybody, this is Quick from squicknet.com and today we are going to show you how you can uh, download and install those books uh, in order to run uh, and play uh, old games on uh, your uh, new machines. Um, DOSBox in fact was born as a uh, DOS uh, operating system emulation uh, a few years ago uh, and the goal is exactly the, uh, to emulate the DOS uh, operating system and allow uh, old games to run on modern machine as we've just said. So you go to the download section on the uh, dosbox.com website uh, and you will get the latest uh, version of the uh, installer. Uh, actually as you can see uh, it's coming uh, for different uh, operating system uh, so it's uh, there for uh, any Linux distribution or a Mac uh, and of course of for Windows as well so you will uh, download and install the application it's quite straightforward so we will skip this step uh, once you've downloaded you will have to simply uh, install and once you've installed it you can run uh, the uh, application here we got it okay so as you can see this is a, a command line interface it's uh, not so difficult although you have to uh, master few commands in order to be able to run uh, your games and uh, the settings for your games properly although there are uh, many tutorial and uh, the same wiki from uh, the those book main page uh, that we we, uh, we will we, we do recommend to use uh, in fact here there is uh, the all the list of commands you will uh, uh, need uh, in case of any any problem in any case the goal of this tutorial is to go quick to show you how to quickly uh, run a game because in many cases the games are already set up to uh, to work so even before uh, going uh, uh, through the installation to the running of the game what I suggest you is to download the game you're uh, looking for of course through SquakeNet uh, in a specific directory Let's uh, I've created this under my D uh, games uh, uh, um, R drive uh, so I've got two files and before, uh, even before um, uh, running them through uh, those books, what we have to do is to um, unzip uh, them. So let's extract them. I suggest to keep using the same directory. and once you've done so you will have two further directory where the files are uh, have been extracted both for Warcraft and for Aladdin so let's see just uh, uh, as a, an example what's going to happen if we try to run a uh, old application in a modern system uh, like the one I'm running here it is. Uh, basically, what the system is saying that the uh, file and the application was thought for a different architecture. In this case, it was an uh, eight-bit or sixteen-bit architecture, whilst we're running on a thirty-two or sixty-four architecture. So that's the reason why we need uh, those books. And here we are. So. As I said before, we need to learn a few commands in order to uh, start uh, the games and to run the games. Um, the uh, most important one, the first one that you will need for sure, is the mount that's really taken from another operating system, from Linux and not from DOS, uh, just for honesty. And uh, so what uh, we're going to do is uh, to mount on a direct on a drive we will identify like C that is the default one but you can use any letter you prefer uh, and we do say which is the path of the directory where we will uh, uh, put the games so in this case the column games uh, okay I've mounted 
so the system is saying to me that actually this is mounted in order to switch from one um, uh, hard uh, virtual drive to another the notation is this one so we say C column and we are on the C uh, drive if we want to list the content the command we will have to use is dir so we see that we have two zip files and two directory if we want to jump up and down on, di on a directory what we have to do is to use the cd or change directory uh, command so we go into the aladdin directory and again we list the files we can list in different formats uh, and once we're in what we need to do is to launch the uh, executable the application so first thing we look for it you can use the star uh, as a, a, a wildcard so dir uh, let's list the executable we see there are three executable so we just run Aladdin okay there is a crack and the game has started as you can see okay I'm skipping okay this the mouse is not working here exit to DOS okay so we're again here so as you've seen then there it was just a matter of starting the uh, the, the game um, another thing uh, you have to know in order to go down one directory is usage uh, two dots so dot dot and you go down one directory and there okay so let's um, let's go in worker that is a special uh, game I'll tell you why actually this is a special game because as you can see um, the game is actually an ISO so it's uh, like a, a CD-ROM uh, um, compacted CD-ROM basically and what we will have to do is to tell the system that uh, this ISO is really uh, a simulation of a CD-ROM uh, like D as we see for instance w what we are going to do uh, uh, is to try to enter to D direct uh, hard drive so of course the system is telling us that we have to mount um, in this special case it, it, it exists another command that I want to show you because this is quite important as well um, and it's uh, let's let's take directly uh, the example from the wiki um, here there is the explanation it's very very well done so if you need it you uh, will have to go through this so here it is mounting an ISO file as a volume uh, so as uh, uh, in our case as a, a CD-ROM uh, it's like let's say um, we are going to tell the system that uh, in the specific uh, uh, drive we are identifying E in this case but we will choose another one uh, the, uh, there is a CD-ROM uh, with the information of Warcraft 2 in our case so let's copy this and let's paste it here no, this is not allowing copy and paste okay so let's write directly the command uh, okay so emg mount d that is our uh, uh, the uh, drive we want to identify with the cd-rom uh, because as it's as uh, it's a default one we use it for warcraft for instance and we will tell uh, which is the uh, file to mount as a ISO Warcraft ISO and then we have to say minus T uh, ISO ISO okay so now let's see what's going on on the drive we can jump in and 
uh, as you can see by magic there is not the ISO but all the list of files that actually are the CD-ROM one so we jump back on C and uh, we are going to go in War 2 and there X and here we launch the game okay as you can see here again you can play and you can do whatever you want we exit and uh, that's all for uh, uh, the part of related to the uh, basic usage of the uh, uh, DOS box. Then, apart from uh, this uh, very quick introduction, again I repeat, uh, when you have any trouble you will have to uh, learn and uh, quickly check which are the commands uh, uh, to run a game. Um, what's uh, interesting is that uh, uh, we integrated uh, within the uh, with our portal the um, system to check uh, how you can run a game and which is the um, percentage of support through those books. Uh, actually, it's on on the bottom of every game under the download link. Uh, and if you can see the compatibility and if you go in configuration support it will open uh, a window through the DOS box uh, uh, portal where there are several information on uh, um, how users solve the problem to run the game so this is very good in my opinion and uh, it will help you solving the uh, problem you may have um, but before closing the uh, tutorial, what I want to show you is uh, uh, the file that is the DOSBox file configuration that actually is the most important one you have to know. Actually this file uh, will allow you to play with the configuration of DOSBox in order to manage memory, CPU cycle uh, and defining other characteristics that will um, need to be changed for some games to run. In general the default one is fine but um, you will see also uh, through the um, uh, comments and the forums uh, on, on the internet that in many cases you will have to change the configuration. Um, just to go very quickly through the file uh, here uh, it's a configuration file uh, you find it under the DOSBox uh, uh, carpet, uh, the DOSBox folder uh, that uh, it's, uh, it's going to be created uh, within the installation uh, and uh, here it's quite well commented uh, with the meaning of everything uh, that you may need um, in generally what you have to pay particular attention is this section uh, with the machine parameter uh, where uh, you will have to define which is uh, the machine uh, the memory uh, then another very important part is the CPU uh, as you can see for instance I use it some uh, specific parameters for some games for instance for FIFA 94 I had, I had to use CPU type 386 prefetch here are the values uh, available uh, cycles also here you will have to define the cycles to uh, give um, in many cases uh, this is uh, quite interesting uh, and you will uh, be able to read through other tutorials uh, in order to uh, so some games could be uh, particularly slow or particularly fast in this case you will have to reduce the cycle and this could be done with some shortcut keys like control uh, F11 uh, and F12 in order to uh, raise and slow a uh, number of cycle and you will see automatically during the gameplay that this will uh, uh, reach the perfect set or you can set it here this is another opportunity 
then uh, it's important uh, here another important section for the um, sound in general the default sound blaster uh, with the ERQ, DMA and HDMA um, and SB base uh, parameter should be fine but you will find that in some settings you will have to change ERQ channel or uh, other values so also here again this uh, is going to help a lot um, then uh, the parameters to define speaker as well because many many games the old ones are going to run uh, with sound through speaker um, there is the possibility uh, in some cases to define serial uh, a port in order to uh, run old uh, networking modem uh, uh, multiplayer games it's the case of Doom or any uh, others also here uh, the uh, DOS box uh, and our page will help you uh, finding this information and finally uh, there is the possibility to add some lines uh, at startup. Uh, in my case, I used to put, in, in this case, I commented for uh, this tutorial the mount uh, of the directory where I have the game. So every time I uh, start up the those box, I will get automatically the uh, uh, directory where the game are. Um then uh, I guess that's all for the tutorial. Um, again, I suggest you to uh, have a look on the wiki in order to get more information about uh, the DOS commands and the basic commands you will need for um, the uh, application for the DOS box. Or uh, you can uh, write as usual in our uh, uh, Facebook or Twitter uh, page uh, what do you think if you need any help uh, we will help you we are here for this reason and we we like and we want uh, to, to give the opportunity for uh, people like us to play and remember the old games bye bye